You can have all of the expert information in the world, but without the right mindset and attitude, you won't succeed. Here are some of our Happenistas showing how they've overcome challenges and limiting beliefs. If I'm honest, over the past two years, I've actually seen some of those things come into fruition and it just makes me believe that by staying focused, visualising and keeping your dreams high up, it, it elevates you rather than staying on a kind of flat plane. You know, and I was always quite driven um, and, you know, like some of the things I tried to do didn't work out, uh, but it's the perseverance, you know, like just, just to not giving up that actually kind of helped me through the, 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 the year. Well, you know, I think for me, I mean, I've always taken, you know, a lot of calculated risk. So people often, like when I decided to move from, you know, Chicago to, to like London, I mean, I'd been planting the seeds for almost two years. But it was very subtle and I was very, you know, selective in who I told, you know, about that, you know, desire. So when, you know, most people heard, they were like, what? <laughs> um, so, you know, I do a lot of research. Um, you know, I understand, you know, what's, in, you know, you know, what's involved. Um, you know, and then once I have all the facts, you know, as I deem them to be, then, you know, I pounce, you know, I take action. So for me, that weekend, I uh, kind of reset quite a lot of the things that I thought I was doing right uh, to, to, to new standards, basically. Um, and that has been a kickstart for me to get fitter. Whilst my work and my life are so kind of symbiotically linked, I have to realise that I owe it to myself to shut down sometimes and to have a weekend off and to take time out so that I can actually do the best for the people that I work with. From when we can't pick the circumstances that we're, we're born in, you know, but I think that we definitely can pick what happens with ourselves from birth to, to death. So, you know, I choose to win, I choose to conquer, I choose to succeed. I was very not sporty before. I hated sport, you know, like if you would talk to me about sport, I would just be like, oh, and actually those pregnancy kind of made me not feel great about myself and also with the kids growing up I felt like you know it was kind of good to start engaging in sports and now we're all quite sporty and in the weekend we do bike rides and we do little runs we they go to those little clapham 2k and everybody's quite happy and it's kind of happy family moment I think that um, you know you can have a goal and you can have like a and it, there's a natural path for you to, to achieving that goal if, if it's meant to happen, you know. And I think that, you know, you attract, you, you attract your success and you attract the right path and you'll get there.